What do I think of M-Pesa, which is the African solution for the unbanked? Um, M-Pesa is run by a telecommunications company that started off by breaking all of the rules, and since then has instituted KYC, know your customer regulations, and anti-money laundering regulations, and border control regulations with very high fees to transmit to other countries, which means that they're already in the final stages of being turned into a bank. And when they do get turned into a bank, I expect the next thing that's going to happen is they'll get bought by a bigger bank, which will get bought by a bigger bank. And you know how that story goes. The problem with that is that yes, they did an amazing job of enabling the unbanked. Why? Because they broke the rules. Not because they made better rules, not because they invested more in infrastructure, not because of anything else, because they had a brief period where they broke the rules. Just like PayPal unbanked people by breaking the rules at first, until they could no longer break the rules. Okay. Um, am I invited for lunch with Warren Buffett? Uh, does everybody know this story? Okay, so if you don't know it, this is what happened. Warren Buffett, who is a very, 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 very rich person in the United States, very, very, very rich person in the United States, said that he would donate money to charity. Someone paid to have a lunch, a business lunch, with him. And so one of the crypto celebrities, um, the person who founded Tron, uh, paid four and a half million dollars to have lunch with Warren Buffett. And I hope it's a good lunch. I hope they enjoy it. Uh, with my blessing, I hope they enjoy the meal. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. I am not going. I haven't been invited. If I was invited, I would decline. If Warren Buffett wants to hear my opinion about crypto, he can come to one of the local meetups. The entrance is free. I'm sure he can afford it, like the rest of us. Is the cage really getting smaller if most of the wealth is owned by a fraction of people and of all companies? That's a great question. It is in terms of people. It also is in terms of real economic activity, because you can't have an economy without most of the people. You can't build an economy that is just billionaires buying jets from each other. Right? That's not a working economy. And we've seen again and again that these systems become fragile. Right? So from one moment to the next, they can lose billions and billions of dollars by experiencing a shock. And these shocks are coming more and more often, and they're worse and worse shocks. And the reason is because the cage is indeed getting smaller. The other funny thing is like they have all of the money. Yes, they have all of the money, and it's denominated in US dollars and euro, which is also denominated in US dollars, and Swiss francs, which is also denominated in US dollars. Everything is denominated in US dollars since the Bretton Woods Agreement. So effectively, they all have US dollars. And what is the US dollar doing? It's lost 97% of its value in 100 years. 97% in 100 years. They can keep their dollars. Right? They're going to have a tiny cage with very few people, all fighting over who gets the only remaining working Gulf Stream, which has actual fuel in it on the planet, so they can escape to I don't know. I think the current plan is go to Mars, so they can all go to Mars and enjoy flying their Gulf Streams around Mars. They can't fly on Mars, and um, and we'll stay here and enjoy our Bitcoin. <laughs>